Check. Play. Hang on, I'm not getting anything. I'm not hearing anything. Are you hearing stuff? Switch input. Check, check. Yeah, there we go. I need to figure out how to get it to not do that, but I don't know yet. So, we're gonna play something chill to kind of ease back into it. Sorry for taking a while. Uh, I, <laughs> I realized my Wii clock wasn't set correctly. And for this game, that's kind of important. <laughs> so. Initializing memory card. Thank you. Okay. My monitor switched. Oh! God. I just realized I got a whole B for freaking progressive scan. Okay, there we go. How does a GameCube game have a Wii channel? It's custom. I found it on the internet. Check, checking, test. Hmm. I'll turn it down to negative 10, but that should be a good volume. And I don't think I have to worry about Animal Crossing getting loud all of a sudden. <laughs> So you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world? That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? Yeah, I need to turn my monitor off. I can't hear myself playing. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free, feels great. But, living by yourself can be a real drag, too. Still, if you got some really tight friends somewhere nearby, then you know it'll all work out. Yeah, man, friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So, are you ready to hop on that train and go for a ride? Oh, I almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here, too. Yeah, it would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Later. Yeah, I, I'm not banking on that, <laughs> honestly. I'm looking at my webcam. I think my light- <laughs> I think my light bulb is dying. Let me see, maybe I can get some more light for my lamp here. Yeah, there we go. That'll- that'll work. Excuse me, do you have a second? Could you help me out? Is it- let's see now. 7.07 p.m. on Wednesday, May 26, 2021. Why, yes it is. Say thanks, you're too kind. Really, you're a big help. m ha 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 Do you mind if I sit here? I promise I won't fall asleep, tumble on you, and then start drooling on your shirt. Yes, yeah, sure. If you say no, he just sits there anyway, but with an angry disposition. Thanks again. Sure is nice meeting friendly folk on the train. You aren't a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? Oh, okay, that moves. That. Hmm, well, hmm, Dustin. Now that is an odd name. <laughs> Not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like the name Dustin? Yes. I'm sorry, did I say it was odd? It's not odd. It's really a great name for a boy. Really, it's, uh... 
It's a really great name. <laughs> you know it. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, where are you headed? Okay, so we gotta name the town. Well, I was gonna name it Strindleton, <laughs> but... Strum. <laughs> uh, my town's name is Keyhole. No. What's, what's Spa? Oh, that's the space bar. What do we got? What do we got for punctuation? Hmm. Oh. Oh, emoji. Ah! That's where I live. That's not slang for like testicles, is it? Who, Whoville? I I don't. I don't will that fit? Let's see. Yeah, that might fit. But do, but do I want that? That's the question. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm giving this some thought. Giving it some good thought. Yeah, I like this. Wump we'll, go, we'll go to Wumpa. You're going to Wumpa? Yes. Hey, I know that place. Wumpa is one of my favorite vacation spots. So, what are you going to Wumpa for? I'm moving. I'm moving, huh? I hate moving. Pack boxes, unpack boxes, it never ends. Say, where's your new place? Don't know yet. What? You don't know yet? Are you out of your tree? Well, obviously, we obviously need to find you a place to live. Oh wait, boy am I dense. This buddy of mine runs the shop in Wumpa. Let me give him a jingle. This will take me two seconds. Wait right here, okay? Beep, beep, boop, beep. Hey there, Nook. It's me. So what's the good word? You raking in the cash? Uh-huh. Yeah? Ooh, that's rough. Brutal. Well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Wumpa. Oh yeah, completely. But the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. The kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Dustin. Um, yeah. T yeah, today. Do so you think you can help out? Oh? Oh, really? Uh-huh. I see. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So we'll catch up later. Right. Thanks a lot. See you, Nook, my man. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Miss me? Yeah. Well, good news for you. Sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Mm, just... just a little. Oh, really? No wonder you look so helpless. But don't worry, these things have a way of working out. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just buy a house. It'll work itself out. They say money makes the world go round. And what goes around, comes around. Wait, I confused myself. Oh, it looks like we're about to pull into Wumpa. Did I mention I love this place? Remember, things are never as bad as they seem, honestly. Good luck and all that. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Well, goodbye.
Wumpa, now arriving at Wumpa. Welcome to Wumpa. Watch your step eat. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, 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 you there. Yes, you. Would your name happen to be Dustin? Good, good. I just now had a phone call about you, hmm? I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best shape of my life. But I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. I, uh, run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes? Something strikes me as odd, though, my young friend. Moving to a town before settling on a place to live. Why, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Madness. Absolute madness, hmm? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Pardon me, I beg you. That just struck my funny bone. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. Should more than suit your needs. Hmm? I can show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. Let us watch out for rolling rocks. Here we are, not too shabby, hmm? I can most heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside, really, I don't mind, not in the least. After all, the doors don't have any locks. There's no furniture. I'm burgled every day. Let's just stand in front of the door and press A to go inside. Okay, so we got our choice of red house, orange house, green house, gases, and yellow house. Which which is the good? Which do you think? Green or red? Well, let's let's look at green. See what green looks like. Motivated seller. Okay, so this is the inside of the greenhouse. The red one's the one I always pick, but... But yeah, it, it really doesn't matter too much, because you can customize the ever-loving heck out of it. So I'll just go with the red. You're quite sure this is the one you want? Here's good. Very well, it's decided then. That house now belongs to you, Dustin. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio in there at no extra charge. I never could sell that thing at the shop. Now let me see. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house, so listen carefully, please. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite bare, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. I can't? You can do whatever you like with your own stuff, but don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. Whoa. Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. <laughs> you probably want to pop into neighbors' houses to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes, that weird thing over by the door there. That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them, hmm? It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which it can give or even sell to folks. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid. For that is the only way for you to save everything you did that day. It would be a shame to lose such things. If you quit playing without talking to it first, it'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. Can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I'd hate to see such a thing happen, hmm? And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Do you perhaps wish to hear it again? No thank you, Mr. Owl. Yes, well, I'm sure you'll settle under the particulars of life in due time, don't worry. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, the house comes to 19,800 bells. Ah, yes, here you go. This is, here's my money. Yes, that would be 
Not nearly enough! <laughs> you only have 1,000 bells? You're joking with me, yes? Why, you're so short. I can't help but laugh. Whoa. You know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you. They can't buy a house. The Mafia will break their kneecaps. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm, a thorny situation. Yes, rather thorny. Then here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, that's acceptable. Splendid, we're all set. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come by my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre A2. Can't miss it. At least most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station, yes? I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. I'd ask you to be quick about coming, yes? I mean, I got nothing else to do. Let's see. Yeah, there's the shop. So this is what kind of town we're working with here. Every town has this, like, separator in it. D Derwin. Let's see, who we got? We got Olive. Pom Pom. Derwin. Rocco. Olivia. And Cody. There's a post office. There's a dump. Okay. Well, finally you arrive. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? Okay, don't look at me. Don't look at me. That's better. Yes, you look like you were born to wear that uniform. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bells you owe up your, on your house. Hurrah! First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is too dull, not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience, hmm? People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept, so I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me, yes? Yeah, the whole New Horizons, uh, New Leaf, New Super Mario Brothers art style change was definitely something to get used to. Oh, we got the jam. They, they never topped the original soundtrack, I'll just be real with you. It never got better than this. Okay, so... Gotta find another good spot for a tree. I think this, I think this would be a good spot for one. I keep trying to use the D-pad to move in the menu, but apparently that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, half the time I don't remember that the GameCube's D-pad is there, so. I mean, it's like Nintendo m made it the size of my entire thumb. I don't know. I mean, to navigate the menus, so I don't have to do this. <laughs> the loudest controller ever created. That's not true. So did you make it look a little nicer out there? Give the ground some charming character? <laughs> you know, I could probably give uh, Tom Nook a very stereotypical accent, which is possibly what they intended, but I'm af I'm afraid. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so I won't bother asking how you cho how you chose where to plant everything. After all, I'm not the one who will get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. My no, yeah, you're putting you're putting a lot of uh, stock in this whole travelers from other villages thing, and I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Now let's just see here. Oh, the little chore was worth, oh, uh, let's call it about 80 bells, yes? Quite generous, I know. 
Oh, and about your wages, I'll just keep them as payment toward your, mor toward your mortgage. Hmm? Now, what should I have you do next? Wait just a moment. Something just struck me. Dustin, you just moved to Wumpa. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? I'm going to give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town, hmm? Go on now. And don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. That would show some class. You can probably find him wandering around the wishing well. I'll see you later, yes? Yeah, this is one thing I'm not sure I super miss about the older Animal Crossing games. Is the super heavy tutorializing. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to remember this. You wish you got, uh, Coco? I mean, don't say never, because, uh, you know, there is an ebb and flow of villagers. Come on, how long do you expect me to wait, Rah Rah? I've been waiting here all night. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. It's so dark out here. I couldn't tell who you were. It's it's only 7:30. It's there's, there's sunlight outside my window. What kind of Japan hours is this? Although that might have been because I've never met you before, Rah Rah. Hi, I'm Pom Pom. Anyway, now that we've met, I won't mistake you for anyone else ever again, Rah Rah. I promise. And since this is the original Animal Crossing. I am a bald viking boy. I have no hair. I am Varg Skeletor or something. Okay, so there's another another villager around here somewhere. Where where is them? Oh, there they there. Oh my, who are you? I wonder, have we never met before? Or is it just so dim outside that I can't recognize you, sweet pea? By the way, my name is Olive. Did you know that already? Ah, so this must be the first time we've met after all. Let's see, you're Dustin, right? See, I've already memorized your name. It's not, it's not even that dark. Pear. Pear. Okay, so there's gonna be a bit of running around to do. I don't have a map, so I just gotta figure out where everybody is. Ah, duck nerd! Oh, it's so late. That's it, I'm going to bed right now. Durr. Whoops, before I go, I ought to introduce myself. My name is Derwin. Sorry I'm in such a hurry, but it really is nice to meet you. It's as dark as a Nintendo 64 game on the Wii U VC. Oh. Here's the police station. I'll come back here later. Oh. Here's the beach. I just went to a beach in real life. Hippo. It's a little late for you to be running around alone. You should be home enjoying a nice quiet evening. Oops, I didn't mean to stick my nose in your business. My mistake, hippie. I always do that. I hope and say something I've only, something rude to someone I've only just met, hippie. Pretend it never happened. Maybe we can still be friends, hippie. Yeah, all right, but it'd stop calling me a hippie, please. <laughs> There's a lighthouse. See, this is the lighthouse. And it is in fact a lighthouse. And here's the pier, the dock, whatever you want to call it. Put your Nintendo Switch in it. Hey, good evening. Say, we've never met before, have we? Well then, let me introduce myself. I'm Cody. 
If you forget who I am, just remember that I'm the one who says okie dokie a lot, okie dokie. It's a bad habit, I know, but sometimes I just can't help myself. I hope it doesn't bother you, okie dokie. Everybody's got a catchphrase. Oh yeah, her. Oh my, an unfamiliar face. Good evening, her. Ah, oh, my name is Olivia. Don't you think you should be at home in bed? Her, it's, it's, it's 7.30! It's 7.30. There's, it's still light. There's rocks everywhere. And since this is the first game, the, the items are all like 16 by 16 PNG files. It was, in, it was on the Nintendo 64, you know? Oh. Er, what who are you? Er, you whippersnapper, tell me something. Who do you respect the most? Uh, well, uh, who, who do I respect the most? Who you, who you think? Okay. Hmm. Youth. Hmm. I weep for the younger generation. It pains this old heart. Listen to me, Sprout. What's your name? Dustin, eh? Ah, I see. Human, aren't you? My name's Tortimer. I'm the mayor here in Wampa. Yep, -a. pretty important job. You seem like a good kid. Listen, whenever there's a holiday or some kind of event, come talk to me. I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, -a. I surely will. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Ooh, and here's a musum. Welcome, please do come in. So very nice to see you. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Uh, n no. Ah, uh, well, hmm, hmm, yes, very well then. Actually, oh, this is terribly embarrassing. To be honest, we have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really. What we have here, when you cut to the quick, is a rather large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, we are open around the clock and gladly accept donations from residents of Wampa at all times. We do appreciate your support. Okay. Is that everyone? That might be everyone. Oh, sideways hill. Tony Hawk's Sideways Hill Jam. I mean, I haven't seen the Taylor. Oh, it's down. It's down. Yeah, Rocco, Derwin, Olivia, Cody. I think I got everybody. So, did you meet everybody in town? Quite a motley crew, yes, but variety is the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Wampa, you'll never fit in, you understand. But never fear, I have a good feeling about you, hmm? Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah, yes, I need you to deliver some furniture, hmm? At last, it's like you're here actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Olivia in Acre E4, yes? And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. Go straight there, and then come straight back, hmm? All right, Nook. You can, you can count on me. I will not get distracted. Uh. Oh, hey, what's this? No, I know what this is. Let's see. Hang on, I, I have an I have an idea.
No, that's that's too close together. I'll I'll go back to my old idea. No, actually, maybe the maybe the other thing would be better. I gotta, I gotta feel out the melody. No, I think it's above. Yeah. No. No, no, one up, one, one up. No, it's, no, okay, it's back down or back. Lower. Lower. Maybe lower than that. I might not be able to get the right note here. I don't know. I don't know if it has like sharp. Hmm. That might be the closest we can get. B. Might be G. B and then G. That's close. If I don't know if it's the right note here, though. I don't know if it's G. Well, it's not that, that's for sure. Well, mm, mm, I guess. Hello, Dr. Mad. Let me try lowering it like a note each. Wait. Oh, yeah, that's right.
Eh. F F E F E F Yeah, that'll do for now. <laughs> anyway, Olivia. Yeah, you're not Olivia. What song is this? Oh, you know, a topical one. Okay, Olivia is right. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not quite right. Thank you. I didn't come here to get roasted, you know. Oh, oh, wow. Thank you for this, uh, for this advice. This very, uh, organic advice. I think I've gotten, I think I've gotten linked and fixated on this. That's fine. Okay, I gotta go up the sideways hill again. <laughs> Animal Crossing Old Horizons was an instant follow for me. Well, thank you. crash but he falls down the stairs yeah the original animal crossing always old holds a bit of a place in my heart and i mean it's sort of the original like it's it's technically a port of the nintendo 64 one so i mean close enough Is it still worth going back to, or has it been super annuated? Uh, I mean, I, I think that would depend on who you ask. Maybe I should go back to the Crash 3 one. 
I mean, look. GDF. DF. Sounds like Song of Unhealing. Well, you know what? We have it here. You know, the good thing about a stream is that we have the... the source recorded. So let me see, let me see. It's a, it's, there's a very, a lot of trial and error with the way I, like, <laughs> transcribe music. I see you do game dev. Do you write the music for your projects? Uh, not currently, but I, I've been dabbling in it. Yeah, I understand length. I understand length. Yeah, it's just not, it's not quite coming together. It's like it doesn't have, uh, like, any, th any concept of sharps and flats.
So, <laughs> there might just be some notes I can't hit. I don't know. Welcome back, Worker B. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job. So I figure that earns you, oh, say, 230 bells. Not bad wages, hmm? Now, on to your next task. Hmm, what's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. It should serve your needs just fine, hmm? Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. You know, a sort of personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Rocco, who lives in an acre somewhere in row F. It's just good business. Rocco is a very loyal customer, so this is a notice of a special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Dustin, but try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Dustin, who works for me, yes? You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes? You'll find the post office in Acre A4. Now hurry back. Hmm? So what's uh yeah space? Well, I mean, this will be a learning experience if you haven't played much of it. It's, uh... I mean, look. The thing about Animal Crossing is that it's it's not like most other games. You know, it's not like most games. Mm. Hmm. Customer. Welcome. So, what do you want? Yes, yes, in it goes. So, is that it? Or do you have some more? No, that's it. Oh, okay. Close the door on your way out. And be quick about it. Yeah, but Animal Crossing is a game where, you know, it doesn't really end. There's not really any particular goal. You just come in, you chill out, you talk to some animals. Animal Crossing is not like a drink. It's more like a drink. Did you send the letter? Hmm, good job. It took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to dock you a bit. How does 130 bells sound? Son, I went right there. But I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Oh yes, well... I, uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. Hmm, I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me, so why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better, yes? Just be sure to come back after a bit, hmm? Yeah, so... As he said a minute ago, I now have a map I can pull up on demand, which I'm going to be consulting essentially constantly. Because I get lost at the blink of an eye. Okay, no job from her. Go ask Duck Nerd. Oh, this is the cliff. The thoughts of how this appeared has to do. So, what do you need there? Can I help you? What? You want to help me? 
That's neighborly of you. Since you put it that way, I guess I can't refuse, huh? I, I'm not sticking to any voice with this dude, am I? I think Olive has my camera, so I want you to check it out and tell me if I'm right. I'd go look at the myself, but I'm really busy with uh, some very important business. Yeah, that's it, duh. So how about it? Can you help me out, duh? Not about to thumb that up, I'm counting on you, duh. Oh yeah, he is he is absolutely going to town in there. So I'll live. Crap. <laughs> I'm going back up. Oh my, it's already 7 p.m., Sweet Pea. So what can I do for you, Sweet Pea? I'm picking up. Ta-da, here it is, the camera. Take good care of it, Sweet Pea. And tell Derwin thanks so much for letting me borrow it. Well then, please do your best, Sweet Pea. Oh. Them. So, what do you need there? Delivery. Here you go. Well, would you look at that? My camera. You already got a good work, though. Maybe I should have also to go get it for my phone now, though. Ooh, all I have is stationary. I guess I'll just have to do there. You don't mind, right? Sure helped me out a lot. I'm really grateful. I'd have done it myself. I'm sure I would have messed it up somehow, though. <sighs> yeah, just build your house right at the lake. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Were you able to help anybody out? Many animals need things, hmm? Did you get anything good in return? The critters in town are all fairly generous, so your work never goes unrewarded. It's quite nice, yes? Next, I need you to deliver a nice carpet for me, yes? And don't dilly-dally along the way, hmm? Take this carpet to Pom Pom, yes? And just because I'm not watching you doesn't mean you can stop and chit-chat with folks you meet along the way. Then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you. Just try not to gab too much. Tell me when you're done. The pom pom is on the cliff. Okay. So you just couldn't get enough of me, huh? Ra ra. So what's going on, ra ra? Some of this dialogue, I, I probably can't keep reading. You know. It's a little repetitive. Tom Nook seems meaner in this game. Yeah, everybody in general is just a little bit ruder in the original game. I don't know what it is. Though, I'd argue that New Horizons kind of went in the uh, other direction a little too far. Because it feels like I could literally spit on their grandmother's dead corpse. And they're like, oh yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna do that myself. Thank you. Finally here, super sweet. I'm totally gonna lay it down right away, rah rah. If you wanna have like a room to die for, you got. Oh, oh, I, I know what voice I gotta go for for her to. If you want to have like a room to die for, you totally gotta have the right rug and wallpaper, rah rah. I so don't care how rare furniture is, you gotta go for a total coordination from floor to ceiling. Oh, now wait. Now that I have this carpet, I really don't need the old one. But junking it would be a waste. I'm just kind of... It's, it's just kind of becoming Scottish the longer I do it. <laughs> I got it, Dustin. Why don't you take this rug? Go on, take it. There are like Mondo different patterns you can use to decorate your room, you know. Seriously. 
the big hassle is getting your hands on one, so you really, you really want Rara. It's a huge pain, really. It, uh, it really is just <laughs> going down the sliding scale of Scottish and Valley Girl. I drop by Tom Nook's shop daily. I drop by Tom Nook's shop daily, but I don't always find what I want. Ra ra. I go talk to the hand. He knows I'm just kidding though. He does try to get new stuff on a pretty much daily basis. He's a sweetie. You should drop in too, just to see if any of his new stuff gets your motor running. Ra ra. I'm serious. Oh, but you better only browse in your free time. You can't shop while you're on the job. That's bad. You've got finite health pickups. Welcome back, dear employee. Very good, yes? It looks like you finally, you're finally getting the hang of things around here. <laughs> the way you work. I'd be happy to have you working here full time. Wouldn't that be a treat, hmm? In any case, I can see you're putting on a lot of effort into your work, so this time I'll give you 580 bells. Next, I need you to deliver an axe to Rocco. Be careful with it, hmm? I see that light in your eyes. Now the stuff you deliver is wrapped, so you couldn't use it even if you wanted to. So don't get any ideas, hmm? If you want to cut down any trees, you'll have to get your own axe. Yes? Very good then. Give it your best shot. And tell me when you're done, yes? Can somebody explain to me what gyroids are and why people want them to come back so bad? Uh, it's this. Okay, he's at the shoer. He sells sea cells by the seesaw. Uh, but there are other kinds of gyroids you can get later that you can put in your house. And they like make noises in rhythm to the music that you have playing. Oh, and you can also get music. <laughs> I mean, you can do that in New Horizons. But it's also present here. Oh, this is Dustin again, hey, Hippie. Hey, why are you even talking to me, Hippie? Delivery. <laughs> oh, that's the thing you brought it about. <laughs> about time you least. Ah, <laughs> uh, chill out, I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I slay me. <laughs> anyway, my dear delivery nookling, did you send me this, Hippie? No? Pretty darn funny, but uh, yeah, I know, I know this the maximum humor. But uh, so what's it say? War har har, just kidding. You, you you sure are kidding a lot. You're not pro you're not pulling Schrodinger's asshole on me, are you? I actually like getting letters. Yep, puts me in a good mood. Who wouldn't like a letter? I keep everyone I get. And I'm not stingy with them either. I show them off to anybody and everybody, hippie. Believe it. That's why you ought to pay attention to what you write. You never know who's gonna read it. If I get stuck having to show off odd, humiliating letters, I'll get mad. And you won't like me mad, hippie. It's just- it's not just a passing thing. When I move, and I will someday, I'm taking all my letters, hippie. Yep, I'll just hop on a train with all my stuff in tow, go to another town, and show off my letters there. And maybe, just maybe, someone will move here and show you someone else's letters, hippie. And I mean, he's telling the truth, but it's not exactly very convenient to get anything like that to happen. I mean, I know my friend Isaac has been playing this game at some point, so I don't know, maybe I can get him to send me some kind of save data. Maybe. But let's go back to Thumbna. Hang on, let me drink some water. Welcome back. Nice work. Yes, very good, yes. Now let's see, that chore earned you a solid 
230 bells. And what to do? Your next job will be... Ah yes, now I remember. You've seen the bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? Well, I want you to write an ad for my shop on that bulletin board. You get foot traffic around there, yes? You can write whatever catchy slogan you, you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting, hmm? And don't write anything that might embarrass me. Once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Well, off you go, hmm? Let me know when you're all done, yes? Nothing embarrassing. Got it. Yeah, so you got this. I <laughs> sadly I, I don't think I could fit any more of it on there. Welcome back. Did you put a buzz generating ad up there? Something animals will talk about over the water cooler? Yeah, I, I think they'll do just that. Very good. Yes, I suppose uh, that means... Yes, you're all done. All the work I hadn't gotten around to is all done. How wonderful for me, hmm? Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have to, no choice but to let you go. Hmm? The rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course. You still have to pay all of it off. Pay... You still have to pay all of it off. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here. Hmm, yeah. So far, you've worked off a total of 1,400 bells. So you have 17,400 bells left to pay. Not exactly something to sneeze at, hmm? Since there's no more work for you here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now, how could a youngster go about making some bells? I suppose running errands for the villagers and selling things you no longer need, too, hmm? That should generate some catch flow, uh, catch, cash flow, I should think. If you've got stuff to sell, just come talk to me, yes? I'll give you a very fair price for anything you've got. Oh, and when you want to make a mortgage payment, do it at the post office for me. Tax purposes, you know, hmm? If you can pay off about 1,000 bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send the raccoon goons. Whoa, <laughs> just a joke. Once you pay it all off, we can talk about remodeling the place for you. That house you've got now is pre pretty small, after all, and I'm sure you'd like a little more room, yes? Well, thanks for your help. I hope you'll come see me for all of your future shopping needs, hmm? Well, I mean... There's, there's only a few shops in town. Yes! I'm finally done working! I'm free! I'm free! So, I don't know when this place closes. When do you close? So I have no money, no prizes, I don't love it. Oh, but I can sell some fruit. It's freaking music, dude. It's like I'm in a Mario Sunshine bonus area. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so buy this fruit. Buy this fruit. Oh wait, wait. Okay, there we go. That is not as much as I was hoping for, but I guess, you know, that's the way the cookie clombulates. I'm gonna put my wavy pink shirt back on. Oh, I didn't put the daffodil chair in my home. Oh wait, no wait, I should buy the shovel. I should buy a shovel. Okay, so now, now that I have done the uh, tutorial, I mean, odd jobs, I now have freedom, right? So I can do whatever I want. And everyone is powerless to stop me. Yeah, t t tutorial. Tutorial on shovel. What's this? Cabana flooring. Let me see it. Hmm? Let me check the wall. The shovel doesn't break, does it? No, not not until New Horizons was that a mechanic. Hmm, I like that. Oh, but I do not have enough money for it. I'll have to come back for that. But no, you get infinite shovel usage. I'll admit, the crafting thing in New Horizons or the web... The, well, it's not weapon durability. Oh, here's my fish and stuff. How do I pick something up? Oh, it's L. The durability mechanic in that game kind of bugs me a bit more than it does in Breath of the Wild and stuff. So games like that. I don't know, because they just make it so tedious to get new weapons and... I keep saying weapons, but it's tools. Also, here's what the gold spot does. 1,000 bells. Now you can plant something here, but I'm not going to do it yet. We can get a nice, cool 1,000 bells. So, we have one of those golden spots every day. Every day we play, there's a different one. And it's in a random place every single time, so... Oh, a raffle. Raffle ticket. I forgot about that. No, I don't have enough money for that. You remember that from New Horizons. Uh, yeah, they got rid of the golden spots for a bit there, but then they brought them back for New Horizons, I believe. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember most of the other games that well. Bug. I can't do anything about the bug. At least not yet. They're not exactly hard to find. No, not really. So let's let's put up our our new furniture. Oh yes, that's much more homey. H homey. So we got a daffodil chair. Looks like boogers. Shut up. Shut up, it looks good. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Simpsons hit and run. Uh, maybe at some point. I don't actually have that game right now, though. I mean, I could just, you know, legally obtain it, but I'm not going to do that. You know, if... if if I can get a copy, like an actual copy, decently easily, then I will do that. Okay, so this is my house. We all like my house. I mean... Look, I'll, I'll try to make it red in the future, maybe, but right now, that's that's all he's got. You know, it's I can't get more. Can't get more items. Hmm. 
No, I mean, it's a valid point. It's a, it's, it's a valid point. That is why I address it in this way. Now, the problem is we're not gonna have a lot more to do after a bit. You know, I'm gonna go around and see if there's anything to dig up. Hit this rock. Get money out of the rock. That's another thing I think they brought back for New Horizons. He's hitting rocks for money. Okay. But, you know, that's a stable... That's a stable sort of income source. You can just hit a rock every day. However, there's only one rock that will provide you with riches. The other rocks will not do this. What's this sign say? Okay. Okay, so what was what was in here? Oh, oh. Oh, gyroid. A mega lamentoid. Lamentoid of in innocence. Got him. I mean he says he says I can just have it, so. That's right. I wonder who these two are. Uh, Bear Demon and Panda Lady. Vertigo shirt, yep. Yep, that's mine. Yep, that is mine. I mean, nobody's gonna take it if I don't. These guys haven't shown up in New Horizons yet, the police dogs. And frankly, I'm appalled. So wait, what do you got? I forgot what you do. Good evening to you! Let's be extra careful when we're walking alone at night. The darkness is suspicious. Tell me, how else can Officer Copper be of assistance? Any goings on? Yes, about going on? Actually, rumors are flying around town about the famed wanderer, Wendell. He has reportedly been seen wandering around in the next town over. I have no reason to doubt these reports. If he is indeed headed for Wumpa, as I suspect, I would expect him to arrive sometime around May 29th. Um... Anything lost? No. Well, because I just cleaned you out. I guess that stands to reason. Hey, man. What's up? Go in the the able sister. Hey, how you doing? Oh, my claws are full right now. So you can get like designs here. So 
So what's funny about this game is that the little, like, babbling that the characters do, the, you know, the banjo-esque noises, are actually a botched speech synthesis. Like, Nintendo was trying to get them to read out the text, Tamadachi style, but they just couldn't get it to pronounce some words right. So, you can actually, if you listen closely, you actually can hear them pronounce certain words. Like, you can actually hear it in there. So, you can design a pattern. Right? So you get this. You can just doodle whatever you want, and actually, if you want to, you can even download a little program to your Game Boy Advance to do it. Which is, I always thought was neat. Yeah, a Mario Kart DS emblem. So... Let's see. Yeah, so you get a choice of different palettes here. I think this is the one I want. So it didn't originate in New Horizons. No. No, you could do this from the very beginning. So, how about in honor of... Oh, no, no. Okay, so there's like, you can get patterns and stuff. So how about in honor of, you know, the Sonic thing tomorrow, I do something Sonic related. I'm gonna do Dr. Robotnik. So you do that. Okay, so first thing, wanna give him like, do we wanna do, uh, do we want to do, like, Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog Robotnik, or do we want to do, like, classic, ro you know, classic games Robotnik? That one would probably be easier, but I understand that... <laughs> that Adventures would be funnier. Mm, pardon me. I might want to just go straight, like, pixel on this one. No, nah, no, nah. I need to, I need to space these out a little bit more. Okay, yeah, there we go. So now we want to do the moustache. Okay, now let's, we gotta give him the big toothy grin that he always had. Dustin, tell Greeny about the time Robotnik was in WarioWare DIY. Uh, yeah, basically I found a tool that lets you import patterns or let you import anything you wanted into WarioWare DIY. And I chose that as a test image. That looks pretty good, I think. Yeah. Yeah! So, I probably need to give him, like, a nose, though. Nose spot, yeah. There was a way you could... Oh, that's the undo button. There's a way you could turn off the grid. There you go. That's how you turn off the grid. So I think we want to give him an outline now. Mm. 
Mm, no, that doesn't quite work, does it? Hmm. The circle tool's a little iffy, so I'm doing some, like, manual corrections. Yeah, it's basically the Game Maker uh, pixel art tool. I'm gonna have to widen out this side because it's it, Robotnik is now lopsided. It's kind of egg shaped now, which I suppose fits, you know. And I've accidentally anti-aliased him. <laughs> Let's, uh... Give him a little bit of, yeah, like a little bit of glare on there. Alright, alright. So I don't know, I feel like maybe I should almost put an outline around the goggles. I could just do this. This looks... Well, okay, it doesn't look as good as I thought it would. What if the nose was that orange color? Which orange color? This one? Topmost? Well, that's just red, ain't it? I mean, it doesn't look bad, though. Let's give it a, a dark blue background. Now the left one doesn't look right, because it's not wide enough. Really wish I could use the D-pad for this. I mean, a mouse would be cool too, but the GameCube didn't have a mouse that I know of. No, not E! Well, actually, yes, E, but not that E. No, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be centered. Oh, add an, add an exclamation mark, that's a good idea. Not too bad. What would you like to call it? I mean, She's a blue hedgehog. She might be related to Sonic, for all I know. Hmm. 
so I have an idea for this that I'm going to put into effect in a moment. So, where's the Muslim? It was around here somewhere. Oh, it's up. Up one. Hello. How you doing? So, we want to stop by here again because there's something we want to get in. We want to get going as soon as possible. The Able Sister Spirit Battle uses Sonic. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, indeed! Woohoo! An unexamined fossil! My heart is set to Twitter at the very thought. I'm a ferv fervent student of the of paleontology. And I'm fairly confident I can assess the identity of this specimen. However, I must confess, I have yet to receive my certification, so I cannot offer an official examination. If I were mistaken, you see, I fear I would be, shall we say, severely chastised. Yes, quite severely indeed. I'm terribly sorry about this, but you'll need to send this to the main Farway Museum for a proper examination. Incidentally, just by the by, I believe you received a letter from the Farway Museum, correct? Not yet. Well, who? Cool, no letter yet, hmm? Well, don't fret about it over much. I believe it should arrive sometime tomorrow. Once you receive it, you'll be able to re correspond with the Faraway Museum, and won't that be nice, eh, what? Brilliant minds they have over there. Simply brilliant. Send them as many fossils as you happen to excavate. They will return your fossils as soon as they have finished identifying them. Rather tidy little system, don't you say? Oh, one more thing. While you're waiting for your initial correspondence from the Faraway Museum, you must not rebury fossils in the earth. This is very important, you see. It's vital, terribly crucial. Don't ask me why. To be perfectly honest, I'm not quite sure of the reasoning myself. What, what? Seems reburying fossils creates some confusion about whether or not you're ready to receive that letter. Sounds a bit daft, doesn't it? In any case, you have to carry the fossils with you. Just don't bury them again. You may keep them in your flat. You can even scatter them about the landscape, I suppose, if you so desire. So, that, as they say, is that. I hope that's clear, eh, what? And I hope you'll follow my instructions to the letter. Now, is there anything else you would care to show me? Nope. Something about this feels meta. Yeah, it's basically why it's basically why they're saying, oh, hey, if you rebury the fossils, the <laughs> the flag that says whether or not you get this letter gets reset. So uh, don't do that. <laughs> Blather seems nice, at least. Yeah, Blathers has always been a darling baby boy. Okay, here's the dump. So I will take a dump. Not really. Not really. Who dump? <laughs> so here's what I'm gonna do. Text gets cuts off, cut off, but that's all right. Um, <laughs> so there's some other things you can do, like you can have him store items, and you can have you can give him a message. The problem is that giving him a message is basically useless until I have a visitor, because I'm pretty sure he won't say it to me, and even if he did, then what's the point? Let's see, what kind of... Hmm, I mean, these shirts are okay. I don't know if I want to wear them right now, though. See, okay, New Horizons gives you storage up the behind. But in this game, storage is a bit more, um... It's, it's a bit... Well, it's a bit less. It's not, not more anything. The ice cap blue sphere stage. You can also put patterns on your walls and whatnot. Okay, so we'll just make my house a right mess. Okay, so here's the gyroid. Yeah, 
You know what, I'll have my gyroid to hold these. Didn't realize you called your island Wumpa Island until now. Well, I mean, technically speaking, it's not an island. It's just Wumpa Village or something. Yeah, so there's fish there. Can't do anything about that. Yet. You saw bugs. Can't do anything about that yet. Oh man, one thing I really am going to miss streaming this game over New Horizons is that I can't just hit the B button to, <laughs> to bury that. Okay, so, like I said, we're beginning to run out of things to do here, kind of like Tamadachi. But, I'm gonna pick up some fruit and seashells, get a little bit more money before we stop. Animal Crossing is one of those games where there's only so much you can do at a given time. Oh, I'm about to run out of space. So I gotta go back up to Nook. And I started running. Nope, no, nope, went the wrong way. Gotta press every button. I don't know why they have Y and Start do the same thing, but... You know, they just do. Okay. No, wait, wait, wait. Highlight. Highlight. It's not as responsive as I'd like. You can't just tap right and then press X. It's gotta be on there for a second. Yes, yes, good. Thank you. Hmm, do I want this table? You know what? Nah. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save for a bigger house. I feel like the speech synthesis thing would have worked better with slower text speed. I feel like, honestly, they might have just done that on purpose. They might have done that to disguise it. Gma. Oh, there's a, there's a diggy spot. Miss it. I was in the wrong grid square. Mini Gargloid. Which is just a fantastic name for a thing if ever I've heard one. Yeah, it's weird. It's generally pretty weird, you know? But that's just the way it be. Another diggy. Another diggy. Another fossil. So that's one of the big goals you can do in this game is try to complete the fossil collection and whatnot. I can imagine the outrage of the next Animal Crossing at Tomodachi speech. Yeah, that would be kind of weird, wouldn't it? Okay, so something I, I, I thought I think I started but never finished. One thing that kind of sucks about the original Animal Crossing compared to its successors 
is that Blathers can't identify the fossils himself. You have to send it, like, off in the mail to a different museum. And then, once you've done that, you have to wait the next day for it to come back to you. Which, it will then be identified. Which is just a, a terribly cumbersome process, if I can be honest with you. And I'm, gl I'm glad that they improved that. <laughs> There were some pears down there. Okay, sell all of these seashells. No, wait, I'm the one selling seashells by the seashore. Of course. And I forgot to put the stuff... I forgot to give the stuff to my gyroid. That I needed him to hold on to. So I should probably do that. <laughs> See, a neat feature that hasn't come back in any subsequent Animal Crossing game... Is that in addition, I'll show, I'll show you in just a second here. So, I say store an item, right? So, I put this flooring in here, right? I could set a price. So, if anybody comes to my village, or someone else lives here, they can talk to my gyroid and see what I'm selling. And I have no idea why this system has not returned. Because it's a lot more convenient than having to drop the item on the ground and then having the other person, like, have to drop the exact amount of bells on the ground. It's just... This is so much better. You're learning a lot in this stream. Well, I'm glad I could be of service. So, let me put my other gyroid now. This seems like a perfect system system for a modern day game. Yeah, I mean, oh. yeah, he's gargling, all right. Yeah, it's it, that's why it's so shocking that it hasn't made a comeback because it's like we got Animal Crossing with internet connectivity, where it's actually not a pain to get somebody to visit. But yeah, like I said, if if my friend Isaac hangs on to his save data, and I'm sure he probably will, I might get him to send me some data so I can visit his town or something, so I can at least show that off a little bit. But I mean, that's that's cho that's the choice I've made, <laughs> ignoring, uh, rejecting m modernity, and embracing tradition. I kind of miss this camera system as well. It's like, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I like Zelda 1. But I just kind of like this better. Well, I don't like Zelda 1 that much, but it's, <laughs> it's, it's aesthetic, at least. Got that, it's got that top-down NES adventure game aesthetic. The 2D trees, yeah, we got Mario 64, uh, what's it called, billboarding. Yeah, actually, I don't know why I said I like Zelda 1. <laughs> I, I don't actually that much. I like the way it looks and sounds, at least. You know, that early NES game vibe, but I, I, I tell a lie. I, I kind of don't like playing it. Okay. Sell all this. You don't like entering rooms full of wizard robes? I mean, I say that, but like... I mean, I guess I also 
actually love Zelda 2. So, I can't say, oh, I hate Zelda 1 because there's so much enemy spam. Once I get past the fifth dungeon, I kind of don't want to play it anymore. Fifth dungeon, negative emotional aura. Also, there's an e-reader kiosk. And I, I would really love to show this off at some point. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I'll, I'll have to look into that. I, I might have to see if I can buy some of the cards. Or, you know, find a way to make the game think I have the cards. Okay, so I need 17,000. I mean, there's no reason to... Well, actually, maybe there is in this game, so... Do you have an e-reader? I do, actually. See, an idea I had was trying to see if I could, uh... load the ROM in my flash cart and simply use a save data where the card's already scanned, but I'm not sure if that'll work. Okay, so I'm gonna put, uh... I'm gonna put 4,000 in there. Worth the science, I'm sure. Yeah, I'll experiment with it over time. Also, this lady sucks, but she has a nicer counterpart if you play earlier in the day. <laughs> However, Animal Crossing decides that 7 p.m. is like boondock hours. Real animal hours. So it's like, oh, you know, it's it's 5 p.m. Shouldn't you be in bed? No. Nobody goes to bed this early. What are you doing? What are you doing over there in Japan? Are y'all going to bed this early? You know, all Jack and no boy makes dull a work. But yeah, we'll, we'll get more things to do uh, the more times we play this. It, it kind of, it's a slow start. I mean, it it's never really a fast-paced game, so... But it, but it starts off even slower. Like, we will be able to fish and catch bugs and stuff eventually. The game just takes its sweet time getting there. Oh god, and the pairs don't stack. That's another improvement they made in the later games, is... A lot of these items are stackable now. <laughs> but each each pair now in this game is an entire inventory. I am stuttering an incredible amount. I don't know what about this game is doing this to me. There was one girl who asked for help in one of the assignments. We texted her for a while, but she told me she had to go to bed at 8 p.m. Yeah, I, I, I don't mean to be mean, but that girl was a werewolf. Just plain and simple. Werewolf. <laughs> Alright, give me the money. Give me the money. <laughs> Buy my fruit and seashells. Tom Tom Nook really is the epitome of the video game shopkeep that will buy anything. He's like, wow, a bag of feces. I will give you a hundred bells for that. And I'm like, thank you. I mean, he doesn't necessarily pay a whole lot for it, but... But he will... He will take it. I mean, try, do, try doing that in any, like, actual store. Try going to Walmart and saying, like, Oh, hey, take this, uh... Take this thing I found on the ground outside. No. 
They, they won't do it. There's a certain Zelda game I want to see you get to. Which one is that? Link's crossbow training. I mean, I'm working my way down the list. Oracle of Ages. Yeah, I'm working my way down the list uh, as far as Zelda goes. Next will probably be Majora because that's the next released. Do you have any cute animals in your town, Dustin? I might. I, I think. Oh, I'm trying to push this ball. Please. Where's the ball? Where is it? It's stuck. Ball stuck. Can't see. Please, I beg you. <laughs> okay. The ball is just here forever now, I think. Where did... I didn't even... It's not even there anymore. Ball gone. So, let me go back. Oh, there it is. So, does it stay... Does it stay out there? Or does it despawn? It probably despawns, because this is technically a Nintendo 64 game. Yep. Gotta, gotta let it sit on the icon a second. Does it- does it stay? It actually stays. I cannot believe it. The Nintendo 64 disk drive. Finally. Oh yeah, another fun fact about this game that I make sure to tell everybody at every opportunity possible is that if you put this game in your GameCube, like if you're using the physical disc, which I am not currently, but if you are, as soon as the game boots up, you can pretty much take the disc out because the entire thing is loaded into memory. So there's no actual need to keep the disc in there. It won't it won't tell you put the disc back in. You know, you can go in and out of buildings. It won't tell you to put the disc back in. Oh no, the ball. How you doing? Good evening, Rara. So what's going on, Rara? What's up? It's like you can probably tell from just walking around Wumpa that we have tons of fruit trees here. You know how you can pick the fruit, right? Sure, just face the tree and press the A button to shake it. Rara, you know, yeah. Oh yeah, one complaint I kind of have about the original is that, I don't know, it doesn't feel like the villagers say as much entertaining stuff like it. A lot of it's tutorials about how to do stuff, so sometimes I just don't talk to them, I don't know. But I mean, technically every Animal Crossing game kind of has the issue of the villagers not having enough to say, which is really weird because we got like actual gigabytes of storage now. And Nintendo's just like, nah, eight strings of text. That's the best we can do. Oh, okay, ball. Ball. Okay, here, here, play with this. Play with this ball. Come on, let's do some drills. Do it. come on. Kick it. Yes! And yeah, I was talking about, uh, how you and Isaac were playing this game, and I may ask for your save file for my nefarious purposes at some point. Could be neat. Okay, so I'm running out of things. So we might we might be ending this soon. Let's see, you got anything cool to say? You're not completely simple, I assume. But if you want to plant your fruit, you've got to get yourself a shovel, unless you like dirty fingernails. He says as if I can actually choose. 
Old Nook sells them shovels. Oh, sells them shovels, I mean, at his shop at competitive prices, maybe. Anyway, once you get one, you can dig up all kinds of stuff from the ground. If you see something that looks a little out of place, start digging. You heard me. Dig, 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 dig. You might get a little filthy, but you're used to that, huh? God! And you never know what you might find, hippie. This man literally just told me, take a bath, hippie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I said, they, they got gradually nicer over the course of the games. Where in New Horizons, you can literally kill a man and they will just say, oh, congratulations. Whereas in this game, they're they're coming at me just for blinking. Okay, take some of these. Hmm, you know, I'll buy the table. Table shrinks into a sign. You sold the magic conch. No, that was just a regular conch. It didn't tell me. It didn't tell me how to live my life. It didn't let me eat this super delicious sandwich. Okay, so let's let's rearrange a little bit. Yeah, that's why people want these things back. It's because without them, there's nothing to go. Uh, oh, large. Sounds like a bong. Langton, you better not know what that sounds like. This was a Christian stream. Okay, so... So, what do we, what do we want to put? We want to put the tape deck. No, no. Put the, okay, put it, put it up on the table up here. Yeah, okay, turn it. No! Okay, so I'm going to have to resort to 5D chess here. Dang it. No, I... Mm. I, I gotta play, like, slide puzzle, right? Crap! There's something specific I want to do with this. No, I think I gotta- I gotta get on, like, this side or something. It might not be possible, I don't know. Yeah, I- I- I don't know. I'm gonna try- I'm gonna try it on this side, but I don't think- I don't think what I'm trying to do is geometrically possible. Yeah, I can't figure out how I would do that, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Just push it over here. Yep, yeah, okay. Put the teacher's chair. Sit it towards the table. Get the daffodil chair. Put that towards the table. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Now, can I put a gyroid on the table? No, I can't. <laughs> that thing made a hilarious noise, though. Uh, 
Hmm. Can I put a shirt on the table? No. Only certain things may you put on the table. You know what? I'll I'll get rid of this to free up some space. And I'll put my college rule. Can I put Oh, it's the orange box! I can play portal! <laughs> I'm just gonna have that thing scream in my house constantly. Just gonna pause buffer a little bit. Okay. Oh no, wait, wait. I still got clothes I need to put down. I could probably only put down one clothes. And the rest I'll just have to give to my gyroid outside until I get a bigger house. It's for display only. You handle it too much, it's not gonna last. Anyway, uh, my friend Kovar has just gone live, so I think that would be a good place to stop it. We about ran out of things to do, but it will return at some point. So let's save. And I should hopefully be back for the Sonic stream tomorrow. Cause I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna talk about that. Takes four years to save. It's like when Pokemon tells you it's saving a big dump. A save. Like when the save is so big it has a special message for it. Now entering inevitable disappointment. Yeah, my, my expectations are... are pretty level. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for tuning in. I love you all.